In this video, I'll walk you through the steps involved in downloading and installing Recollector on a PC that's running MS Windows. I'll also show you how you can license Recollector, install the Recollector license key, which will turn the program from its demo mode into full function mode. To download Recollector, go in a web browser to the CollectingCatalog.com website, and that's the website that you can see on your screen here. Make sure the download menu is chosen, and then click on the MS Windows download button. That will bring up another window that lets you fill in a bit of information. Um, fill in your name, fill in your email, and optionally indicate what it is that you collect. Click the download button and the download proceeds. It'll only take a few seconds and now it's done. And then simply begin to run the download program. Your computer may ask you to verify uh, the source of the file. And when it's done that, it will bring up a short wizard that takes you through just a few steps that gets the download completed. So mostly it's a matter of just clicking buttons. Uh, and when it comes to the point where it asks you where you want to install the program, mostly, most often you should just accept the default it gives you and click install. That's it. The installation is done. We can click finish. At that point, we can close down these windows. Let's close our browser window. And now you will see that a recollector icon is on your desktop. So to start the program running, simply double click on that icon. Since this is the first time we've run Recollector after installing it, a little welcome window comes up, and an opportunity is given to you to start building a collection right away, to create a collection with a new wizard. I'm not going to do that, because it's not really part of this demo, but other videos uh, will show you the process of creating new collections. So I'm going to sim simply click Just Continue Using Recollector. This will bring up what's called the Recollector Startup window. Most often, once you're using Recollector, you won't see the startup window very often because each time you start Recollector, it will automatically open your currently active collection or whatever collection or collections you've had open the last time you were using the program. But if you didn't have any collections open, or as in this case, before you've even created your first collection, the startup window will come up. Um, on the main part of this window is a list of the collections that you've opened recently. And of course, here it's blank because there are no collections yet. But once you create some collections, they will begin to appear in this list. Now, the main point I wanted to uh, make here was um, that after you've used Recollector a bit in demo mode, tried it out, and decided you want to purchase a license to uh, take away the 25 record limitation that demo mode imposes on you, you click on the register button. And I'll just click on that right now, and it's now prompting you to enter the registration key. So let me tell you how to get the registration key. Well, to do that, we're going to go back to the web, uh, the web browser window, the same place where we began the download operation. And if we scroll a little further down in that window, you'll see a purchase recollector button. Uh, Recollector license is $49. It's a lifetime, one-time purchase license. It doesn't have to be renewed. Um, and so let's say you've decided you want to do that. You click on that button, and a window comes up that, that begins a process of letting you pay for your license with PayPal. We use PayPal as the processing agent, but you do not have to have a PayPal account. PayPal will let you pay with a credit card. And once you've completed the uh, PayPal operation, uh, pretty much instantly, an email will be sent to you which contains your key. So I will assume that's been done, and let's open a uh, email program that shows you what the uh, email looks like that will come to you once you have purchased a license key. There's some short instructions about how to enter the license key, but the most important part is the license key itself, which is a 16-character key, and shown here. So the easiest way to get this into the program to, is to select it and to type Control-C, which will copy it 
to the clipboard. We can now hide our um, email program and hide the browser and go right back here to our product registration and click paste. Control V will paste in the key. And so there it is. Click the register button and we're informed that Recollector has been successfully registered. And so that's it. From now on, um, the program will know that you're fully registered. Even if you update to a new version, the registration information will not be lost. Now, um, the last thing I want to mention in this video is that we do try to bring out new versions of Recollector fairly frequently as new features are added and occasionally a bug has to be fixed, it's fixed. And um, you might want to check periodically to see whether a new version is available. And once you have a collection and a collection window is shown, you can go to the Help menu. And on the Help menu, there'll be a choice to um, check for updates. If you choose that, it will check to see whether you're running the latest version. And if you're not, it'll bring up your web browser to a page that will let you immediately download the latest version. You go through the same process that you saw us go through just a moment ago. The, the wizard will step you through a reinstallation. But as I mentioned before, your license key will not be lost. Any data from any collections you have will not be lost. The code simply will be updated to the latest and best version of the program. And so that's a good thing to do periodically to check. So that's really all there is to getting started to download and uh, try out and to run Recollector on your PC.